place for grown men to engage in a field hockey game. That's right, field hockey in the back of a moving tractor trailer. Why not? What else would you expect from a group of dudes with skirts and sticks and a little time to kill? It's not all that easy to play the game under these conditions either. But something tells me these guys don't care about the final score. As long as they can get physical with each other and the truck driver doesn't fall asleep at the wheel, they'll score a good time. And finally, something truly different. The object of this contest is to slap your opponent silly, trying to maintain your composure as he slaps you back. The end result? We are not exactly sure what to make of it, but it sure is stupid. <laughs> That's the greatest thing I've ever seen. We'll slap together even more funny, wild, and bizarre moments from the world of sports and bring you more in-your-face excitement next time on Sports Gone Wild. If you're living with diabetes, this is the sound that could change your life. Great news for people living with diabetes. Now you can wear a continuous glucose monitor and eliminate routine finger sticks. The days of repeated painful finger sticks are over. Just call 800-388-0142. If you use insulin daily to manage your condition, a continuous glucose monitor could help you control your diabetes and reduce or eliminate those painful finger sticks. If you have Medicare or private insurance, US Med can deliver a CGM system right to your door. And if you qualify, there may be little or no cost to you. Shipping is free and we'll even bill your insurer directly. Call now to get your continuous glucose monitoring system so you can take control of your diabetes and get back to enjoying life. Just call 800-388-0142. That's 800-388-0142. You're watching Nevada Sportsnet. From Lawler Event Center on the campus of the University of Nevada, it is time for some college hoops on Nevada Sportsnet and the Mountain West Network as the Wolfpack's women return home to play host to their foes from Fresno State. The Bulldogs, yes, are in the biggest little city. Today's battle brought to you by your Northern Nevada Toyota dealers. Hello once again, friends, wherever you may be watching. Mike Stephenson here, thrilled to be alongside Ashley Jones once again as we see two teams tied in the Mountain West standings matching up here today, my friend. Both teams looking to kind of see their pieces fall together. Both teams coming off of a win against a Utah State team. So it's going to be interesting to see these two teams kind of trying to work out their kings, what they're going to do today. Lots of storylines in this one led by that five-way tie for third in the Mountain West Conference. Let's dive right now into our renowned player spotlight because we have a sibling rivalry being born tonight as teammates are turned opponents. First for the visitors, we got to talk about Mia Jacobs. I mean, just a sophomore. You, can, you can't say enough about Mia. She's a big-time target around the three-point line, and she makes it all come together for this Bulldog team. She's a three-level scorer, and then their last game against Utah State, she had 23 points, 7 for 15 from the field, shooting 46% from the field. Extremely impressive. And you can bet Mia wants to come to Reno and take down her big sis, Claire Jacobs, a star for the Wolfpack. Claire is an exciting player with the ball in her hands. She's coming off of an 18-point game against Utah State, and she plays at a pace where she's able to find her spots within the offense and her utilize her basketball yeah. IQ, and she's a shooter. <laughs> That's one of many storylines in this one. Lots to talk about as the Bulldogs and the Wolf Pack throw down. Coming up next here from Reno, we have got starting lineups and tip-off between Nevada and Fresno State here on Nevada Sportsnet and the Mountain West Network. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. 
Dear chairlift, let's try this my way. With available four-wheel drive that takes me straight to the top in style, and a wild side that's always ready for whatever's next. Keep it wild, Forerunner. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan. Visit your local Toyota dealer today. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. I'm Jared Lucas, all-conference guard for the Nevada Wolfpack basketball team. The grind of the basketball season is long, and being able to go with somebody that I trust, like Dr. Morgan Rivetti, can be essential in being able to be adjusted and, and go into a game and feel great and play at a high level. I come from a family of athletes, and treating our local athletes here in this community is something that's really important to our practice. For appointments, call Northwest Reno Chiropractic at 775-324-3700 or go to northwestrenochiropractic.com. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. Skycam, presented by Legends Bay Casino. We are back here inside Lawler Event Center getting set for Fresno State and Nevada's ladies. Let's bring you the starting lineups brought to you by Champion Chevrolet. We will begin with the visitors and a couple freshmen starting in Kylie Fox, Tasia Santa Maria. You got the sophomore Mia Jacobs and a pair of juniors, Keely Brown and Sydney Detman. For Nevada, true freshman Izzy Sullivan gets to start. Couple Mountain West Freshman of the Week honors to her name this year. She will be joined by Audrey Roden, Tori Davis, Kennedy Lee, the sophomore getting the start down low, as well as the senior Lexi Gibbons coming off a double-double on the road earlier this week at Utah State. As we get set to tip this thing off, once again, Mike Stephenson here alongside Ashley Jones. Let's quickly jump into our keys to this game brought to you by Bradley, Drendel, and Janae. Let's begin with the visitors uh, Fresno State, a team that has dominated this series historically, but not as much recently. Well, I think what it's going to come down to today is it's going to be the offense of Fresno State. They have that chemistry and confidence within their offense, and they're continuing to build that. And that's going to be it's going to be against the Nevada de defense. They have speed and physicality, physicality, and they have to use that to their advantage today. The Fresno State offense against the Nevada defense. Okay, in Nevada, tenacious on defense, tops in the Mountain West, swiping steals as we get ready to throw this one down. And we are playing ball inside Lawler Event Center. Jacobs controls it as Fresno State has the opening possession. And ahead of steam at the rim, has it swatted away by Lee, but it's saved back to the Bulldogs. And now Jacobs will fire from three. Nothing but the bottom. And that's exactly what she does. She finds her spots on the court, and if she gets just a little bit of daylight, that ball is going up. Right on cue. Mia Jacobs gets the scoring started from downtown. And now Tori Davis controls it here. Over to Roden. Turns and fires, but she shorts. Audrey coming off a lackluster game, frankly, at Utah State, trying to get right in this one. Now Jacobs has it down low. She's going to fire again. Why not? Back to back. Three balls from Mia Jacobs. 42% from the three-point line. That is extremely impressive. And it, that, she's just a pure shooter. Her form is so nice, and she's going to get it up every chance that she gets. Fresno State entered this game tied for first in the Mountain West with three-point field goals made in conference play. As Gibbons gets Nevada on the board. Tough bucket down low. And Lexi Gibbons has to make that a priority, getting two feet in the paint every possession. When she's able to work down there, she's vicious. This is Brown with it now. Now to Fox up top. They'll get it back to Detman. And now Santa Maria. With Davis in front of her. Over to Brown. Shot clock's at three. Brown finds a seam, though. A little bit of a defensive breakdown there for the home team, and Amanda Levins wants timeout. Three possessions, three baskets for the visiting Bulldogs. 
And it is an 8-2 game as we take a quick break on Nevada Sportsnet. Pardon. Can you believe there are some personal injury attorneys who are more comfortable in front of a camera than a courtroom? At Bradley Dreadlin Janae, our lawyers might be a little camera shy when it comes to commercials. But get them in a courtroom, arguing your case, and you'll be in for an amazing show. After all, your case is always more important than a commercial, even this one. Bradley Dreadlin Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. Okay, let's do some math. One, huge selection. Two, no dealer markups. Three, lower taxes. Four, 65 miles to savings. You don't have to be a mathematician to see these numbers add up to Wild West Chevrolet being the smart choice. What's your number? Check us out online or in Earrington. Can't choose between watching your favorite Mountain West team on TV or going everywhere else you need to be? With the official Mountain West app, you don't have to. Watch hundreds of Mountain West games and championship events, live or archived, from wherever you are, all for free with the Mountain West app. Available on mobile and connected TV devices. Download the Mountain West app today. A hot start to this game for the visitors from Fresno State as the Bulldogs come out and hit their first three shots. Two minutes in, it's eight to two, prompting a quick timeout from Amanda Levins. And we see a quick substitution with Torrey Davis hitting the bench. And now the freshman, Dymo Maxi is in. A defensive specialist is the freshman out of Hayward. Nevada's looking for a spark here, Ashley. I mean, we said it in the open. It's going to be Nevada's defense and Fresno State's offense. And that's just scouting report defense right there. Mia Jacobs is the target for Fresno State. They, Nevada has to know where she's at. And then Keely Brown. She's a driver. She's going to get to the basket, and that's exactly what she did. So they just can't have those defensive lapses like that so early on in the game. Jacobs commits a foul down low. Nevada will have it at its own baseline. Maxi looking for someone on the inbound. Roden gets open at the last second. Oh, but now we're going the other way as Givens a little too aggressive on that screen for Roden. It's an offensive foul, and now here comes Claire Jacobs. Can imagine it was a little bit tough for her to start on the bench and watch her little sis knock down her first two three-pointers as we see them match up against each other. What a moment for the Jacobs sisters and the entire family. Santa Maria has it here. She'll get the screen from Jacobs. And now give it up to Brown. Brown loses her footing. Sullivan has it now. Nevada's heading the other way. What a pass. What a cut. But Dymo Maxi can't finish. And we're going the other way. Good ball from Nevada. Everything but the bucket, though. And that, that's going to get them, be able to get them going is, is being able to score in transition, creating offense from their defense. Nevada coming off a pair of wins on the road at San Jose State, then at Utah State. Nevada actually 3-0 and on the road in Mountain West Conference play, but 0-2 here inside Lawler Events Center is road and a little too aggressive, called for the reach. Had a chance to talk with head coach Amanda Levins before this, and she basically said at home, Sometimes you have more distractions. We're trying to get that singular focus from our team that they have when on the road, when there's not as much going on and you're frankly on business trips. Uh, easier said than done as the pack tries to uh, get a big win here back in Reno. And an offensive foul committed this time by the Bulldogs. We are heading back the other way. You played for the pack, Ashley. You can take us inside that mindset of, hey, when you're at home, you want to hold it down, but sometimes it might be easier to play free on the road? Yeah, it can definitely be like that, but I, I think it comes down to the leaders on this Nevada team, the upperclassmen, to kind of show the, the younger players on the team, the newer players on the team, how it goes. Because you want to be able to hold it down at home. Like, you have your home crowd behind you, you got the fans, you're comfortable in this gym. 
as Claire, right in her sister's face, bangs the three-pointer, and the Jacobs are three for three. And she got a little smile on her face. She says, let me, get, let me get a little piece of that. I can shoot the three ball, too. Three three-pointers, three swishes, by the way. As you said it, though, Nevada's leaders will have to lead the way, if you will, as what a pass that is from Santa Maria to Detman in the easy bucket. When you look at the floor right now, Nevada has freshmen and sophomores, and then you have Claire Jacobs, obviously an upperclassman, but a very good amount of young players on this on the court right now for Nevada, and so someone has to be able to step up and take that leadership role and kind of get the pieces where they're supposed to be. Back, trying to get back-to-back -back buckets here as Sullivan fires from just inside the arc. The true freshman out of Sammamish, Washington, not shy. I love Izzy Sullivan's game because not only will she knock down a shot in your face, but she can also hit a pull-up jumper and get to the basket. Yeah. She's not just a shooter. And the confidence to step through and take that shot as a true freshman, uh, I think, speaks volumes to her game. As you saw, the foul committed by Kaylee Borden, who had recently checked in. Brown has taken a seat. Franka Wittenberg has checked in the sophomore out of Germany for Fresno State. Now Kylie Fox has it. Back up to Jacobs with her sister staring her down. Three on the shot clock as Mia loses Claire but misses on the three. And now Nevada's looking to push it. Sullivan steps back. The pace picking up in this one as Wittenberg is open from the left wing. Maxi with the rebound. Backdoor cut, deflected as Jacobs turns it over. The Bulldogs have it back, leading by three, just past the midway point of this first quarter. Big Mountain West battle in Reno today. Nevada, Fresno State, each with three and two conference records. Jacobs has another good look for three. I mean, at this point, she's shooting a layup. <laughs> she's shooting a layup at this point. I, you, that's so much space. I mean, she's such a great shooter. They, they can't give her that much room. I mean, that she might as well. She could have shot it with her eyes closed. You said it earlier, scouting report. Three for four from deep is Mia Jacobs. The three makes all swishes as Kennedy Lee's got to do something with it. Tries to go up and under. Detman all over her. Great defense by the junior out of Freud, Montana. And going coast to coast is Wittenberg. It'll get her to the line for two. As once again, the pace picking up in this one. And the Bulldogs hot to start. All right, we've got substitutes to talk about. Into the game for Nevada. Kaylin Benwari Singh. Gibbons is back in. Gabby Jufre checks in for her first minutes. In for the Bulldogs. Dijanae Harvey. Ja Harvey is in. The senior transfer out of San Diego. Also checking in for the Bulldogs. Binta Jata. Out of Senegal, the 6'1 junior. International flavor, a theme, and has long been a theme for Fresno State. And especially the last 10 years under head coach Jamie White, who currently sits at 99 Mountain West career wins. Does she get to triple digits today? Davis back in with Wittenberg checking her. So now you see Fresno State in this zone, which it likes to play, uh, according to Coach Amanda Levins, before so, before the game. Jufre, that's how you beat the zone, though. Yeah, you, you have to shoot a team out of the zone. And if you're Nevada, they've got to be happy with, with those threes going down early here today. you got to make Fresno State kind of choose up. Are we going to stay in this zone, or are we going to go back to man? Already five threes combined from both sides, as you see the shot miss there by Jata. And you'll see Fresno State kind of get in that zone, 
half court token pressed after a made shot or a dead ball, it kind of gives them a chance to set up their defense. And then now they're back into a man. Davis, tough passes, picked off but hit out of bounds. Nice defensive play by Fox, the freshman out of Richland, Washington. Ball stays with Nevada, 13 seconds on the shot clock. Talking with Coach Levins prior, that was one of the main keys that she pointed out is Fresno State's defensive tenacity and how it likes to put some pressure on you and that it'll be on Nevada to create some transition and keep them out of sorts on defense as much as possible. Davis creates some space, misses, but gets fouled on the floor. Third team foul on the Bulldogs. First on Harvey. And that's the aggressiveness you want if you're Tory Davis. Go into the defense, make them guard you, and see if you can draw a foul. jafray has got another look. Same spot, not the same result, though, but Roden working on the offensive boards. Now Gibbons will try. But how about Ben Warsing chasing it down? So a third shot opportunity upcoming here for Nevada on this possession. And it's Ben Warsing down low. Nice feed from Gibbons. The shot's no good, but it'll get her two at the line. And that's a possession you got to love if you're Coach Levins and her staff. Three opportunities. Beautiful high-low game. And you see Lexi Gibbons at the top of that the top of that play and she's able to recognize the mismatch gets it down there great pass and draws a foul when you have two bigs who can pass back and forth to each other like that like that is so dangerous to be able to have that as a weapon Van Warsing the transfer out of UMass Lowell by way of the Bronx New York Dealt with a little bit of a knee in recent weeks, but she is back in action for Nevada. She provides quite a presence on the boards. Absolutely. And to, she's able to get on the boards, but she's not the biggest post player. She's able to kind of play that inside-out game where she can bang down there with the bigs, but she can also step out and play like a guard. Tamiya Strickland has checked in for Fresno State. Right now Wittenberg has it, and now Harvey. Burn has it sent right back to her ben, by Ben Warrising, but somehow gets it back. Down low they go to Jata, and what a finish that was. As Nevada certainly making things tougher for the Bulldogs at this point, it was easy early on. Maxi with a head of steam finds Rhoda in the mid range is no good though. And now here come the Bulldogs looking to push. Under 90 seconds left in this opening period, an entertaining one between Nevada and Fresno State as Harvey on the cut from Jata right to the rim. Goes the transfer out of Palomar Community College. And now right back on defense was Harvey. Down low to Givens, it's tipped away. Santa Maria has it, and she's heading the other way. Over to Jata. Tough pass and somehow saved. Bulldogs keep possession. Santa Maria, corner three, got it. That entire possession, Santa Maria had great help side defense on the other end of the court. She sees the ball going to the post, comes in from behind, tips it out, pushes it, and then in turn, knocks down a three on the other end. Like, beautiful basketball. And that shows that if you just keep moving, it'll pay off. Her feet did not stop as that one's thrown away in Nevada sort of stumbling toward the end of this first period, now down double digits. Fresno State, meanwhile, four of six from downtown to start this game. And all four of those have been right down the middle, swishes. And as a defense, if you can live with a player hitting a tough shot, you got a hand in your face, you make them work for it. Yeah. But when they're able to just knock down wide open three pointers, that, that's too easy, you can't let that happen. That's a great point. Those have all been really good looks for Fresno State. Now the Bulldogs essentially can hold for the last shot they can. Santa Maria has it now to Wittenberg. 
Nevada desperately needs a stop here. Detman has it. Now five seconds. Santa Maria's going to have to do something with it. The wing three, not going to go. Rebounded by Lee, and that'll end the first period. So Strickland's shot is off, but the Bulldogs still hit four threes in the first 10 minutes. Good enough for a 10-minute, a 10-point lead, I should say. As we head to the second quarter, you're watching Mountain West Hoops on NSN and the Mountain West Network. It's Champions Kickoff 2024 sale. Champions out to sell 3,000 Chevys this year. With over 110,000 sales, Champions the number one Chevy dealer in Northern Nevada. Save with big discounts and high trade-ins on new Chevys. Like a 2024 Chevy Equinox LS all-wheel drive, $429 per month. A 2023 Chevy Colorado LT Crew Cab 4x4, $42,888. And the 2024 Chevy Tahoe LS 4x4s are arriving now. Don't miss Champions' biggest kickoff sale yet. Can you believe there are some personal injury attorneys who are more comfortable in front of a camera than a courtroom? At Bradley, Drennel & Janae, our lawyers might be a little camera shy when it comes to commercials. But get them in a courtroom, arguing your case, and you'll be in for an amazing show. After all, your case is always more important than a commercial, even this one. Bradley, Drennel & Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. Auto accident injuries can be debilitating. Pain can cause problems with normal daily activities, recreational activities, and returning to work. Almost 40 years ago, my dad opened Northwest Reno Chiropractic with the goal of getting people quickly out of pain and back to normal daily activities through chiropractic care tailored to a patient's individual needs. No long treatment plans, no unnecessary visit, just getting people feeling better. For appointments, call Northwest Reno Chiropractic at 775-324-3700 or go to northwestrenochiropractic.com. Road trip. From the hip. Roll with it. Change your POV. Drive a UTV. Tell reality, BRB. Let your engines roll. Try a new pour. You never know what's in store. See some OMG. Maybe, Maybe an ET. E <laughs> or the world's oldest trees. Travel Nevada. Get a little out there. Nothing can mask our pack pride. Wear your silver and blue and back the pack. Back here in Reno, where Fresno State has a 10-point lead after the first quarter of play. Quite a shooting display from the Bulldogs thus far, as Nevada will look for some answers. Once again, down 10. Both of these teams coming off wins against Utah State. It's been a week since the Bulldogs last played. Nevada getting it done uh, midweek on the road in Logan. 89-44 was that final, doubling up the Aggies. That's the most points Nevada's scored in the Mountain West since 2018. It really felt like a get-right game for the Pack. Well, that's something that we've we've seen from them throughout the season is they'll have a really high high and then they'll kind of come down and have a low. And so this is a team that kind of needs to find their consistency. They just haven't been able to get going offensively. In that first quarter, they only shot 36% from the field. And then meanwhile, you have a Fresno State team shooting 57% from the field and 57% from three. And the Pack just committed its fifth turnover as the Bulldogs have it back and are back to work with Brown. Jacobs has checked back in. Fox has it now. Back to Brown with Gibbons on her. That's a tough matchup for the Bulldog. And it's out of bounds. It'll stay with Fresno State. Bulldogs beat the Aggies at home 90-64. to Again, that's the 99th career Mountain West win for head coach Jamie White. As Brown goes up and under and is fouled by Rode, and she'll go to the line for two. Had a chance to talk with... Bulldogs assistant Mandy Garver, who has been with White for all nine plus seasons, now in their 10th season leading the Bulldogs. She said this is a young squad they have, but a young squad that is coming together. She pointed to that uh, international flavor as well. Sometimes when you have a lot of international players, they're so far away from home that it helps build that team camaraderie maybe even quicker because really all they have is to lean into each other. Really, and the chemistry is so huge, like being able to know kind of have that, you know, that telepathy with your teammate. Like, I know where you're going to be and when you're going to be there. It just gives you a little bit more confidence when you're on the court and you kind of just know where your teammates are going to be and what their tendencies are. And so that, that can be a big piece for a team to be successful. 
Brown one and two at the line as Froden tries to find a lane. Has it swatted. Bulldogs thought it would be their ball, but it'll stay with the silver and blue. Audrey Roden looking to get back on track. Just four points in that win at Utah State. But again, it was a heck of a showing from almost everyone on Nevada. As Roden that time puts it on the floor in a nice bucket as Audrey Roden is now in the stat sheet. And she's a player that has the capability to score big. And I'd like to see her you know, kind of lock in and be able to put some points on the board offensively. Nevada could really use her offensive output in a game like this today. Right to the rim goes Brown. Nice defense by Roden, but better O as the Bulldogs now have an 11-point lead. The good look there from Roden to Lee. Just couldn't get the finish. And then Davis a little aggressive on defense as Santa Maria draws the foul. With that, we have substitutions for the pack. Natalie Lathrop checking in for her first minutes, and Maxi is back in for Davis. Joined by Sullivan, Roden, and Givens. Santa Maria has it here for the Bulldogs. Also in Detman, Jacobs. Brown and Fox with it now over to Jacobs. Santa Maria has it back. Brown puts her head down and draws the foul on Roden. That'll be two on Audrey, and it looks like she's heading toward the bench now. Borden will check in as well as Jacobs. So Claire is back in and checking her younger sister immediately. Those two played together last season at LaSalle over in Philadelphia. As the big three is good, this time by Fox. Everybody getting into it for the Bulldogs. It's another swished three-pointer. And that's one thing this Fresno State team will do is shoot the three-pointer. They have several players on this team who can knock down the three ball. Sullivan trying to answer. Left-handed sharpshooter. All she needs is a second as well, and it, that ball is going up. Green light. Pack fans should be excited to see Izzy Sullivan continue to blossom over the next few years. Already pretty dang good. As the Bulldogs have it back now with an 11-point lead. Jacobs and Santa Maria working the two-gal game, and Jacobs is open again from deep. Rattles through. Mia Jacobs going off inside Lala Event Center. Her fourth three-pointer. Sullivan drives. Lefty shot from the right side is no good, and now the Bulldogs will push it. Here's Brown. Nice recovery defense there by Claire Jacobs, who gets the deflection and the rebound. Nevada looking for a big bucket here. Lathra. And I like her game. She's so slippery around the basket. She's hard to guard down there. She has length and athleticism and, and finishes well around the rim. Was dealing, uh, had season ending knee surgery last year was still recovering at the start of this year. But yes, she does play some pretty big minutes as another three is up and in for Fresno State. Absolutely throwing fireballs in Reno as Fox hits her second. Boy, they like the rims here, Ashley. <laughs> Maxi. It's a charge. Santa Maria, boy, a pest on defense is Tasha Santa Maria, as right now the Bulldogs hitting their stride. You see, those are the types of mistakes that just take all the air out of the gym. On one end, they knock down a big three-point shot, and then you come down and you get a charge on the other end. Those are tough. Those are tough moments and plays. Wittenberg and Jata are back in 
as is Ben Warsing checking Jata now. Jacobs with Lathrop on her up under. Too strong off the glass. She gets it back, though. And now Harvey steps through. Oh, but no shot clock reset. And so Nevada, tough on defense. Bulldogs didn't realize it. Just about five minutes left here in the half. A big five minutes for the home team as the Bulldogs from the opening tip have had the pedal to the floor, and now it's another turnover for Nevada. I believe that is six already in the game. When you're a team that's struggling from the field, you can't also be giving up possessions Seven down the court. Them, yeah. yeah, you got to... You got to get a shot at the rim every time down. When you, when you give up those possessions, you kind of just shoot yourself in the foot. Jota a little strong. Nice defense from Lathrop. But now here comes Jacobs with a head of steam. Ten seconds on the shot clock here is Claire with Mia checking her. A little too aggressive on defense was Harvey, though, trying to help. She got in the way of Jacobs and commits the foul. That'll send us to a media timeout. Work to do for the home team as Fresno State has been impressive in this first half. It is 34-19 Bulldogs. We're back in a flash. Let's go! Let's go! Let me help. Let me help. You've got this. You've got this. The average cost of hearing aids is nearly $5,000, but now you can buy a full pair of rechargeable, wireless, nearly invisible, easy to use, and comfortable hearing devices for only $99, but only from Audion. It's easy to use. They're small. A pair of $99 Audion Atoms can be sold over the phone without having to see a doctor or audiologist. Call to order. 1-800-211-4395. Welcome to United Nissan Reno, where we're all about getting it right. With a selection of over 300 new and used vehicles, we have something that's just right for you. We have the right people, approachable, informed, and ready to help, without the pressure. And we have the right deals, 0% for 60 months, no payments for 90 days, and vehicles like the new Rogue for zero down or $349 a month. Plus, come test drive any of our vehicles and receive a $50 Amazon gift card. United Nissan Reno, right cars, right people, right deals. Shop online at unitednissanreno.com. We are back in the biggest little city and taking a look at Izzy Sullivan splashing a three. She leads the Wolfpack with five points in this game. But Nevada's going to need a lot more of those to play catch up as the Bulldogs absolutely on fire in this one, Ashley. Yeah, I think it's just a toughness check right now. Like, yes, you got to put the ball in the basket and yes, you have to defend, but it's really just about toughness. Like, Who's going to come out here and get on their teammates back and say, hey, we got to lock in, we got to play some defense, and we got to run our sets and get some continuity within the offense. It's kind of it's lacking on both ends. And we've certainly seen this team be able to come out and play with continuity and confidence and be aggressive. Everyone talks about the Nevada defense and how hard it is to play against, but that's just not what we've seen today so far. That is a good sign coming off of the timeout. A bucket down low as the pack runs the play to near perfection, if you will. Van War is sitting right at the rim. It's a 13-point game. But now doing it on this end, the real challenge is Jata right to the rim, leaves it short. Bulldogs nearly get it back, though. It will go to the Wolfpack. And that's how you, you get yourself back into a game. You execute out of a timeout, and then you come down, and you get a stop. Score, stop, score, get you right back into the game. This is the 68th meeting between Nevada and Fresno State. Sullivan on the back cut just throws it up. It was a great pass by Jacobs. 
It'll get Izzy to the line for two. Points with the clock stopped will certainly help the Wolfpack's cause. Again, meeting 68. Fresno State has won 49 of those previous 67 meetings. Although, worth noting, Nevada winners of four of the last five, including most recently at last March's Mountain West Tournament. The Wolfpack bouncing out the Bulldogs in the opening round, a game that needed overtime. Coach Levins before the game admitted that she feels like she says it against most opponents, but they always play good games against Fresno State, she had to say. Strickland is back in for Fresno State right now. Brown has it. Strickland has it now. Down to five on the shot clock. Fox is going to fire. That three no good, and what a rebound by Van Wardsen as Nevada, with a little momentum, looking to add to it. Sullivan, three. Van Wardsen gives him another chance. Jacobs has it. Up, in for Claire. Nice little sidestep to the basket, finish with the finger roll. I like it, I like it. She's not just a three-point shooter. She can score around the rim as well. She may have initially been thinking three, but the <laughs> pass was a little bit out of her out of her range, if you will, and it led her toward the rim as Nevada is back within single digits. Brown tripped up and hits the deck hard. Looks to be okay, but Nevada commits the foul. It'll be a 15 foul for the pack, so the Bulldogs are shooting the rest of the way. And again, Keely Brown just such an athletic guard and, and does a great job of getting to the nail when she has the ball in her hand. And just scouting report defense again, like you have to know she's trying to get to the basket. You, you play the offensive player differently, whether they're a shooter or a driver, and so they have to, Nevada has to know that and know how to guard her. First shot is no good for Brown. She does get the second one to go, back to a 10-point game. Tasia Santa Maria is back in, also checking in for Fresno State. Maria Constantinidao. That's Sullivan, cross court for Jacobs, the three. She'll get another look. Instead, drives, stops, pops, glass, no good. But a foul committed, and Jacobs will get to the line. Her energy certainly hitting another level here in this second quarter. And that, again, that's been Warsing, another offensive rebound. She has four rebounds so far today, and she's been able to keep those plays alive for Nevada, kind of give them a second chance at the basket. When you're able to get an O-board like that, most of the time good things happen. You can tell she prides herself in doing a lot of the dirty work. That's a player that every team needs to be successful. And Ben Wardsing, after some health issues, uh, back in the rotation now and much needed for the pack as Jacobs splashes her two free throws. It's back to an eight-point game. And that's something that doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, her hustling out of bounds to save a ball or a tip here or there that gives Nevada another possession. But those are so huge. Cross court to Fox right in front of the Nevada bench. The three too strong. And it's hit out of bounds off of Strickland. Ball to the Wolfpack. And the Bulldogs have uh, come back down to earth a little bit. And I think Nevada deserves some credit turning up the energy on defense. Absolutely. It was that timeout at the four-minute mark. The lineup that Coach Levins came in with, the, this lineup that's in right now, I like the energy. I like the effort. They've been aggressive on defense, and they're running their sets, and they're getting good shots within their offense. Under two minutes to play here in this first half. Jacobs has it with Wittenberg chasing her. Now Davis is open for three. And probably the biggest burst yet out of this Lawler Event Center crowd. Nevada within five, ending the half on a flurry. And 
Stanton to Dow. Bangs the three. What a big shot for the Bulldogs. And that is going to get a substitute as Jacobs is coming up a little hobbly. She has been battling a couple different injuries this season. We'll have to check on her. Can imagine it would take a lot to keep her out of this game. Jufre is in, though. Minute 12 on the clock in this first half. Sullivan throws it to no one as Davis chases it back down under 10 seconds to shoot, though. <laughs> Boy, Davis tried to step back and the reaction from Constantin Nadal tells you everything you need to know is it almost looked like Tori may have just lost her footing there, but a foul is called. So 20 seconds now on the shot clock as this time Sullivan walks with it. A potential ball don't lie moment there <laughs> if you're a Bulldog fan as it goes back to the visitors. 52 and a half seconds left here in the first half. That is an open look for Strickland. But out of fortune, that was no good, but the Bulldogs chase it down. So they'll get another look here. And Stanton down wants another. Big rebound by Ben Warrenson. 20 seconds left here in the quarter. Here comes Davis with it. 38-30 Bulldogs. This time, this time, Ben Warrensing, we were talking about her hustle and aggression. Crossed the line just a little bit in the referee's eyes there. It's its offensive foul, and it sends it the other way. So if you're in Nevada, would have loved to have had a bucket there to end the half. Now most definitely needs a stop to end the half. A little bit of pressure from the pack, trying to slow the Bulldogs down. Five seconds on the clock. Wittenberg's going to have to fire it up. She might not be aware. She was not aware. The clock expires, and that's the half. So definitely a strong finish to that second quarter for the Wolfpack, Ashley. Yeah, if you're not going to stop in a score, at least a stop and a stop. You know, go into the locker room on a good foot. Nevada feeling better about itself. Once down 15, that lead now just eight. The Bulldogs up 38-30 at the break. You're watching Mountain West Hoops from Reno. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. It's Champions Kickoff 2024 sale. Champions out to sell 3,000 Chevys this year. With over 110,000 sales, Champions the number one Chevy dealer in Northern Nevada. Save with big discounts and high trade-ins on new Chevys. Like a 2024 Chevy Silverado 1500 Custom Crew Cab 4x4, 52888. Or 2024 Motor Trends Truck of the Year, the 2023 Chevy Colorado LT Crew Cab 4x4, just 42888. Don't miss Champions' biggest kickoff sale yet. The game of football is about pain. Seven years old until I stopped playing at 31. I thought that um, foot pain was gonna be with me for the rest of my life. I'm so glad I met Good Feet. I'm so glad that um, those arch supports are in my shoes. If I had known about the Good Feet arch support earlier, I would have more than one championship. I would have two championship rings. Try them for yourself with a free arch support fitting and test walk at the Good Feet store. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. 
Are you ready to upgrade your home? Look no further than Envision Glass, your full-service glass experts. Our team of expert professionals offer a wide range of solutions, from residential repairs to full installations to fit your budget with free in-home estimates. With Envision Glass, you can expect on-time arrivals, the highest quality materials, and exceptional workmanship. And installations are backed by our five-year warranty. Trust the full-service glass experts. Choose Envision Glass for all your glass repair and upgrade needs. Visit EnvisionGlass.com. Welcome back to Lawler Event Center, where it is halftime, brought to you by Renown Health, proud to be affiliated with the University of Nevada, Reno's School of Medicine, helping educate the future doctors of Nevada. Mike Stephenson here alongside Ashley Jones, an entertaining first 20 minutes between Fresno State and Nevada. Bulldogs at one point up 15. The Wolfpack yet to lead in this game, Ashley, but has cut that deficit to just eight and done it frankly just by kind of turning up the effort on both sides it feels like they've several times this season we've kind of seen them come out a little bit slow a little sluggish kind of trying to find their footing and that almost has been an achilles heel for them because they're digging themselves out of a hole for most of the game rather than just playing laxed and, and doing the things that they know how to do but that that four minute mark from that timeout i think really just made the difference with that lineup that coach levens had in they just had the desire to want to make things happen and they went after it and got it and got themselves right back in this game pack being led by claire jacobs and izzy sullivan each with seven points should mention with sullivan she hit a three in that first half she has hit a three-pointer in 10 straight games that has not happened on the Nevada women's team since the 2018-2019 season. So Izzy Sullivan, again, a first-year college player, already a knockdown shooter for the silver and blue. Credit the Nevada bench, too. 16 of the Wolfpack's 30 points. Something to be taken from that as well. And the next man up mentality, right? Like, you got to be ready when your name is called. You never know when your teammate's going to get in foul trouble or someone gets injured. You got to be ready to go at all times. And the bench has stepped up big and kind of kept this team in the game. How about being in the game? Mia Jacobs, four of five from downtown. She leads the Bulldogs with 12 points as a team. Fresno State, eight of 15 from downtown. So in some regards, Nevada should feel pretty good down just Eight. Halftime continues here on Nevada Sportsnet and the Mountain West Network. Coming up next, we're going to dive closer into that sibling battle as our Shannon Kelly brings you the story of the Jacobs sisters. There's three of them to talk about, and we're doing it right after this. It's Champions Kickoff 2024 sale. Champions out to sell 3,000 Chevys this year. With over 110,000 sales, Champions the number one Chevy dealer in Northern Nevada. Save with big discounts and high trade-ins on new Chevys. See Champions number one commercial fleet department for all your business needs. In stock now at 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 regular cab service truck. A 2023 Chevy Silverado 5500 crew cab chassis 4x4. And a 2023 Chevy Silverado 1500 crew cab four-wheel drive work truck. Now at Champion. We've been in the biggest little city since its very beginning. We brought clean water to our city's first buildings and homes, when that wasn't easy to do. As our city has grown, we've grown with it. Since 1893, we've been trusted to do the right things the right way. Whether it's delivering innovative ideas for the buildings, shaping our future, or making sure your leaky faucet leaks no more. That's the savage way. And it has been for over 130 years. When injured in an accident, our job isn't just to be your lawyer. We move money from the insurance company directly into your pocket. We turn injuries into cash. Go lightly in Vanna, 222-3333. Check out Sierra Classics and Imports for your vintage car needs. Whatever you want, if we don't have it, we'll find it for you. We buy, sell, and trade. Sierra Classics and Imports. I'm Jared Lucas, all-conference guard for the Nevada Wolfpack basketball team. The grind of the basketball season is long, and being able to go with somebody that I trust, like Dr. Morgan Rivetti, can be essential in being able to be adjusted and, and go into a game and feel great and play at a high level. I come from a family of athletes, and treating our local athletes here in this community is something that's really important to our practice. For appointments, call Northwest Reno Chiropractic at 775-324-3700 or go to northwestrenochiropractic.com. I'm Coach Chris Alt, and you're watching Nevada Sportsnet.
We are back inside Lala Event Center from Reno, Nevada, and we have talked about the sibling battle going down between Nevada's Claire Jacobs and her younger sister, Mia, suiting up for Fresno State. But just a year ago, they were on the same squad with another one of their sisters. Nevada Sportsnet's Shannon Kelly has that story. Mia and Claire Jacobs to recall their earliest basketball memories. Always playing out the backyard until someone would cry, and then we would come inside. <laughs> Being pushed around, battled, I think it really helped us. Growing up in Perth, Australia, Claire and her twin, Amy, would move more than 11,000 miles across the globe to Philadelphia, suiting up together at LaSalle University. Everything we'd seen in movies, I was kind of like, oh, America's going to be like this. And it was actually like some ways similar, but some ways very different. Being so far away, I couldn't do it without Amy. Coming to a whole side of the world by myself would have been scary, but having her was really helpful. After three seasons with the Explorers, Claire and Amy's younger sister, Mia, would join the two in America, reuniting the Jacobs sisters at LaSalle. I think we all enjoyed really playing together. I mean, Amy at the two, I was at the three, Mia was at the four. So it was like really fun and I think especially for my dad. He always wanted to watch us grow up and play together. And so having that goal and being able to start all three of us together was really exciting for our family. Thinking about it, it was something that was unheard of. I think we were the only three sisters to start last year in the whole of NCAA. After spending last year together on the hardwood, the Jacobs sisters would go their separate ways, with Amy moving back to Australia and Claire and Mia transferring to the Mountain West Conference. Claire to Nevada, Mia to Fresno State. I really wanted a new experience coming into my fifth year. I've always had Amy, and now Amy and Mia both aren't here. I've had to do a lot on my own, and I think that's really helped me personally with my basketball and the way even in life. Being able to grow by myself, obviously there's been some challenges, homesickness, all of that stuff, but I think the main thing is the people around me, my teammates, and one of my biggest decisions in coming here was the people. Now Claire and Mia will suit up against each other at least twice when the Wolfpack faces the Bulldogs. Mia Jacobs not afraid to launch and buries the three. I think it will be really exciting to see. Both of us are very smart basketball players and we adapt easily, so I think that as soon as they take away what we've previously done, we can go to our little toolkit and pick out something else that we want to do. But I think we both do a lot of things great. We also have a lot of different things that we could expose for each other. I obviously rebound a bit more than she does. She's quicker on our first step, those differences that we have in those parts, but it'll be a good game to watch. For the Jacobs family, it's a pair of contests that will be unlike any before. I've told my parents they have to wear Nevada gear because they can wear Fresno gear after I graduate. <laughs> There's no way they're both wearing Nevada or no way they're both wearing Fresno. I've told her we're going to win, so like she can't be too upset when we win. But I know that she's going to like really give it her all. This game probably means a little bit more to her because she's always wanted to beat me, beat her older sister. Fresno's going to win. We will have to see what happens. What a story from our Shannon Kelly as halftime rolls on right after this. What makes for a great personal injury attorney? Is it how fancy your office is? Is it the size of your biceps? Or the size of your billboards? Nope, it's the hard work you put in every day to help your clients face the road ahead after an injury. But being able to read small print helps too. Bradley, Drennel and Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. You know, in my lifetime, I've been knocked around a few times. No matter how many times you get knocked down, hell, you got to get up off the turf. Back pain, knee pain, you name it, I had it. But when I walked into the Good Feet store and got fitted for arch support, I feel so much better. Very little pain in my back. I feel no pain in my knee. It is nothing like it. No matter who you are, whatever position you hold, in some way, we can help somebody. That's what the Good Feet store does. They help you keep going with life. At Westside Dental Studio, I created a dental office in a 100-year-old house in the Midtown District, the heart of Reno. 
we provide modern quality dentistry in a warm and inviting atmosphere. As a local Reno practice, we love building sincere relationships with our patients because every part of this practice has been thought through, from the modern quality dentistry that we provide to our patients, but also providing that in a nice atmosphere that made you feel welcomed was a huge part of the reason why I started Westside. Dear Winter, we're coming. Our squad of vehicles with all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive is ready to take you on. Safety's the name of our game. Bundle up. Toyota. Toyota has 22 all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive vehicles, more than any other brand. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. The energy palpable inside Lawler Event Center as the Wolfpack women retake the floor. Halftime nearly complete as we get ready for the second half of action. Two more minutes of bills to pay and then we're playing ball right after this. Hey, Pack fans, Renown Health is hiring people like you. There are clinical, non-clinical, and entry-level roles. Training and advancement opportunities. And terrific benefits and compensation. So, make your move. Apply today at renown.org slash careers. Is there a Wolfpack game this week? Hi, I'm Jack Stanko with Champion Chevrolet. We'll see you at this week's home game. Go You'll never guess what we're doing to the Baconator. We're putting a it- A pretzel bun on the Baconator. Catherine, you seeing this? Posters everywhere. What? The Baconator you love with a new pretzel twist. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's new pretzel Baconator. We've been in the biggest little city since its very beginning. We brought clean water to our city's first buildings and homes, when that wasn't easy to do. As our city has grown, we've grown with it. Since 1893, we've been trusted to do the right things the right way. Whether it's delivering innovative ideas for the buildings, shaping our future, or making sure your leaky faucet leaks no more. That's the savage way. And it has been for over 130 years. Road trip. From the hip. Roll with it! Change your POV. Drive a UTV! Tell reality, BRB. Let your engines roll! Try a new pour. You never know what's in store. See some OMG. Maybe, Maybe an ET. E <laughs> or the world's oldest trees. Travel Nevada. Get a little out there. Nearly set for third quarter action here in the biggest little city. Time now for our adjustment of the game, brought to you by Northwest Reno Chiropractic. Ashley Jones is back as the Wolfpack may have made that adjustment in the first half, but still work to do in the second half. Toughness and consistency, those are gonna be the two biggest things for this Nevada team that they have to bring into this third and fourth quarter. In that first quarter, they shot 36% from the field, and then in the second quarter, they shot 54. You can't have that big of a gap you got to come out, be consistent, run your sets, get your shots within your offense, and then defend the basketball. And if you're the Bulldogs, you came out on fire. You can't always rely to shoot the three ball like that, though. Yeah, them as well. They have to settle into their offense. They came out really hot. Uh, I think Nevada punched back, and then they've kind of been on their heels, and so they have to continue to run their sets as well and, and get back to what got them that lead in that first half. Nice defense there to start as Audrey Roden swats it away. That was our adjustment of the game brought to you by Northwest Reno Chiropractic. Visit NorthwestRenoChiropractic.com, helping local athletes since 1995. Bulldogs have it back early in the third, but Brown walks with it, and the travel sends it the other way. So a blocked shot, and then a turnover forced, and Nevada has the ball. Davis with it now, one for one in that first half. She hit a three. I'd like to see Lexi Givens get into this game a little more. As Roden, same story for her, rolls in for three. Shooter's touch, and that's a great job by Lexi Givens recognizing 
the defense shifted over, finds her guard in the corner, and Roden's able to knock down a big three. She's up to five points now, and you know that's got to feel good. The steal now as well. Davis will fire. That was a long ball. She left it short, but the pack is within five and coming out hot out of the halftime break. Santa Maria has it with Davis checking her. Jacobs off the screen, the three, no good. But then the pass looking ahead to Davis is a little out of her reach as Roden turns it right back over to the Bulldogs. A little too excited there, it felt like. But again, their defense has, has created their offense so far. I mean, it's only a few minutes here into this third quarter, but already a much better defensive effort than, than the start of the game. One thing Coach Garver, assistant for Fresno State, said before the game, you play against an Amanda Levin's team, they're going to be tenacious on defense. That time a little, I was going to say maybe too aggressive, but no foul was called. Instead, it's another travel and another turnover for the Bulldogs. So a strong 90 seconds out of the break for the Wolfpack, uh, continuing to cut into the deficit that once swelled to 15. Gibbons gives up the dribble. Jacobs all over her. Now back out to Roden. Under 10 on the shot clock. Audrey has the pass deflected. Nice play there by Detman, who is just much longer and is able to steal it away. Feels like they're playing chess early in this third, <laughs> Ashley Jones. Wittenberg trying to shed Gibbons. Easier said than done. Detman will fire a three. She knew it was no good and chased it down on her own. Then it's hit out of bounds by Lee. Ball sticks with the Bulldogs. Nice offensive rebound by Sydney Detman there. <laughs> I mean, as a shooter, once that ball comes off your hand, you know if it's going in or not. <laughs> and so immediately chases it and is able to get that O-board. Santa Maria's step back three is all air. And here comes Sullivan the other way. Davis. Puts her head down and misses, but Lee is right there to clean things up. And it's a single score game. Timeout, Coach White. 5-0 run to start the third for the surging Wolfpack. Bulldogs going to talk this one over. They will take it as a media, so we will take it as well. Nevada 35, Fresno State 38. It's getting good here in Reno. Okay, let's do some math. One, huge selection. Two, no dealer markups. Three, lower taxes. Four, 65 miles to savings. You don't have to be a mathematician to see these numbers add up to Wild West Chevrolet being the smart choice. What's your number? Check us out online or in Earrington. There are a lot of reasons why people become attorneys. I wanted to help people. That's why I'm changing the game. Text me today and get an answer today. I don't get paid until you get paid. Simple, local, easy. Text or call me today. Are you ready to upgrade your home? Look no further than Envision Glass, your full-service glass experts. Our team of expert professionals offer a wide range of solutions, from residential repairs to full installations to fit your budget with free in-home estimates. With Envision Glass, you can expect on-time arrivals, the highest quality materials, and exceptional workmanship. And installations are backed by our five-year warranty. Trust the full-service glass experts. Choose Envision Glass for all your glass repair and upgrade needs. Visit EnvisionGlass.com. 
Big shot early in this third for Audrey Roden. The shooter's touch, and you know it's got to feel so good to see that thing roll through the hoop. And sometimes as a shooter, all you need is just to see one go through the basket. Audrey, so far only with five points, two for five from the field. So if Nevada can kind of get her rolling right now, along with their defensive effort that they've had so far in this third quarter, and shake a little something up here. A little full court pressure here from the pack as Santa Maria is trying to get it in. Barely does to Jacobs. Audrey Roden had a stellar freshman season. Bit of a step back as a sophomore. Started her junior year pretty strong. Has had some moments. And Coach Levin's recently telling us she's got to continue to get used to the other team keying in on her because the film is out on her now. People know as Fresno State turns it over again. People know that Audrey Roden is a leader of this Wolfpack team, and if you can contain her, oftentimes that's going to bode well for your team playing against Nevada. So that's something that she's continued to have to deal with. Yeah, and as a freshman, you come in, people don't really know what to expect, and she's just kind of having her way. And then, you know, they watch film on you. They kind of learn how you play your tendencies. And now it's like, okay, how do I adjust? It's almost like... A secondary move, Izzy Sullivan, my goodness, what can she do? <laughs> what a pass from Gibbons as yeah, well. Yeah, finishes with contact, but it's almost like a secondary move, right? Instead of just make, taking yep. a layup, you go in, you jump stop, pump fake, give them an up and under, right? So that's kind of what Audrey Roden is dealing with right now. How do I give them my secondary move and not just, you know, do what they expect? Nevada got within one, but had a bit of a defensive breakdown there as Harvey recently checked in, goes right to the rim. First bucket of the half for the Bulldogs, though, as Nevada has really come out strong on the defensive side. And it's leading to success on the offensive side as well. Pack now down three. Roden will try to tie it. He said it. It, uh, it only takes one. She got that one in that left corner. And now on the wing. Roden is up to eight points, and the pack has come back to tie this from down 15. Detman has it hit off of Lee out of bounds. But again, that aggressiveness so apparent from the Wolfpack, it was not there in the opening few minutes. Fresno State, meanwhile, searching for answers as the youth of this team Starting to rear its head a little bit. Jacobs has it deflected by Gibbons. Roden wants it. Roden gets it, and Gibbons has it. Roden's got a seam. She'll stop and pop. Glass, no good. Gibbons, the putback. And Nevada has its first lead of the game midway through the third. Great defense there by Roden, but she stepped out of bounds, and the Bulldogs will get another chance. Maxi checks in for Davis. The energy has turned up several notches for Amanda Levin's team, and it has started on defense. Absolutely. Defense sometimes is your best offense. Garvey hit the floor. Harvey, pardon me, hit the floor there. The foul goes on Gibbons. Looks like Jacobs was part of that collision as well. Harvey with Maxie all over her. Detman with the pump fake. Up, under, and in. Nice shot by Sydney Detman. It's back to a tie ball game as Maxie's fouled from behind. Harvey, much too aggressive. And back to the benches they go for a media timeout. We are under five minutes to play in this third quarter. And it is a tie ball game. Buckle up for this one on Nevada Sportsnet. To win multiple NASCAR championships, you got to have the best support, including my arch support specialist at the Good Feet Store. But is arch support still working for you, Joey? Yeah, they're working great. How's that back and knee pain doing? It's all gone. And my balance is better. Nice. And really nice. Oh, well, this bad boy has over 700 horsepower from, from a fuel-injected fuel injected 350 pushrod V8. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever changed tires? See how we can help you, too, with a free fitting. At the Good Feet Store.
It's Champions Kickoff 2024 sale. Champions out to sell 3,000 Chevys this year. With over 110,000 sales, Champions the number one Chevy dealer in Northern Nevada. Save with big discounts and high trade-ins on new Chevys. Like a 2024 Chevy Trax Active Front Wheel Drive, 331 per month. A 2024 Chevy Equinox LS All Wheel Drive, 429 per month. Or a 2023 Chevy Colorado LT Crew Cab 4x4, just 42888. Don't miss Champions' biggest kickoff sale yet. What makes for a great personal injury attorney? Is it how fancy your office is? Is it the size of your biceps? Or the size of your billboards? Nope, it's the hard work you put in every day to help your clients face the road ahead after an injury. But being able to read small print helps too. Bradley, Drenlin, Janae, the number one law firm for people who want to be treated like they're number one. We are back in Reno, and it is a whole new ball game. Here comes Alex. He is a fan favorite. <laughs> Full speed. Watch out. You're going to get knocked over. It is Pride Day here, the Pride game for the Wolfpack. Coach Levitz before the game saying, everyone is welcome to enjoy her team here at Lawler Event Center. And there's a lot to enjoy in this second half as Nevada has turned an eight-point halftime deficit into a tie ball game and tried to regain the lead with Van Warrensing missing off the bench, but putting it back up and in. I love the effort. Again, on the glass, six rebounds so far in this game. And of those, of those six, three or four of them, I believe, are offensive. I mean, she just goes after, even after her own shot, gives the pack another chance at the rim, and then, you know, scores a basket for herself. She said she just wanted to pat her stats a little bit. That was her fourth <laughs> offensive rebound. Yes, patting the stats, perhaps. As Fresno State now a shell of itself compared to the first half. Lee swats it out of bounds, and Nevada is having its way. Can bet Mia Jacobs wants to reinsert herself into this game as she started off absolutely on fire. She will take a seat now, though. And back into the game is Tamia Strickland out of Renton, Washington. And a foul committed on the inbounds. Goes on Lee. We are back into it. Four minutes left in this third quarter. Detman, short corner pass to Strickland. Van Wartzing all over her. And now Santa Maria just has to fire the three. It's no good. And how about Van Warsing fighting for the rebound? <laughs> how about the pick and roll game from Roden to Lee? But they call her for a walk. Coach Levin saying she didn't have possession yet. So Levins doesn't like the call, but the Bulldogs have it back, taking a little pressure here from the Wolf Pack. Just a couple field goals in this third quarter for Fresno State, which was on fire in the first half. Detman puts her head down. Up over Lee, but no good. And Van Warrensing brings down another rebound. I believe that's nine now off of the bench. And Nevada controls. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Maxi off the screen. Floater. Van Warsing. Rebound. Put back. Fouled. <laughs> Kaylin Van Warsing quietly putting together her best game in silver and blue. And in just 11 minutes so far in this game, she has 10 rebounds. If that doesn't give you toughness and effort, like I don't know what does. And that's. That is exactly the pickup that this Wolfpack team needed to kind of get, get, them, get them going and playing how they know how to play. That's such a great call. They're following the lead. Even the starters following the lead of what some of the bench players have been able to provide. I think about Kennedy Lee, who technically started, but her energy has been turned up in the paint. 
as Gibbons is back in, and so is Claire Jacobs. We saw her sort of limp off the floor there in the second quarter. She is back in. We'll see how strong she is. As she had some big moments there for the pack in the first half. Here's Brown with it now. Roden chasing her. Boy, fans wanted a carry. Constantini Dow is checked back in. And this time the foul committed by 13, and we go the other way. Four-point lead for the pack, biggest of the game. Forty-six, forty-two, Nevada. Under two and a half left in this third period. Audrey Roden has really helped spark him here out of the halftime break. As now Gibbons will face a double team. A nice defense there by the Bulldogs as Fox hits it out of bounds. And right there, if you're Audrey Roden, that's the second time that they ran that play. And the Fresno State help side defense has come over and kind of tipped that ball. She has to recognize that ball fake and then either swing it across court or get the defense to jump and then throw it into the post. She's the only one who can see that help side coming from that position. Roden dumps it down low to Gibbons, but she throws a bit of an elbow and commits the offensive foul. So a nice job there by Keeley Brown. to help sell that contact, but there was uh, plenty of it. And the ball goes back to the Bulldogs. Fresno State needing something here with two minutes left in the third. Just four points in this third quarter. Nevada's got 16. And Gibbons a little too aggressive there on the interior pass. She'll commit another foul, and she will now have to hit the bench. That is four fouls on Lexi Gibbons in this ball game. So safe bet we won't see her for a little while. Borden is checked back in. So has Lee as Santa Maria has an open three, but the foul committed that got her open, although Constantine Dow doesn't seem to agree with it. It's going the other way in the Bulldogs are going through it here in this third quarter. Bean Tajata checking back in. Fresno State's looking for something here on the road. Started so strong, but has sputtered here in the third. Jacobs has position down low. Lefty shot is in. Nine points now for Claire Jacobs, the lead. A game high six for the Wolfpack. All Nevada in this third quarter. Stay with her, Claire. Nothing coming easy for the Bulldogs on offense. It felt so easy in the first half. I think this is the defense that we've come to see and know for the Wolfpack. It, and they make it difficult on teams. They don't let them get into their sets and run their offense like they want and, and find those easy shots. And that's that's the defense that Amanda Levin knows that we've seen here kind of the end of that second quarter up till now so far. Jacobs commits the blocking foul, though, and it sends Santa Maria to the line. That's a big free throw there for the Bulldogs just to see something go through. Now the M.O. for this Wolfpack team early on, Coach Levin's kept saying, we are searching for four full quarters. Won't be the case in this one because of that first period in Nevada trailing by 10. But like we saw in Nevada's last, as that one's thrown away, a little, little frantic the pack is now at the end of the third. Nevada went down big early on to Air Force, but then played them pretty even the rest of the way, but it was sort of the first quarter that, that doomed the pack. I think there's probably a worry from Nevada fans that it was going to be another case today. Down 10 after the first. Is there enough time to make a comeback? Sure enough, Nevada has done it with plenty still to go. Big three for Fox. Good. And after hitting eight three-pointers in the first half, Fresno State finally gets its first of the third quarter, and it's a big one back to a one-point game. Fox's third of this matchup. Four second difference, game clock, shot clock. Lee cuts down low, has a seam, up and in.
beautiful offense, and that's what you talk about when you want to get shots within your offense. That's a, a great example of that. Now Maxi all over Santa Maria. The shot blocked at the horn. And Van Ward seeing is pumped, as is the Nevada bench and its faithful fans. What a third quarter for the silver and blue as the pack turns an eight-point deficit into a three-point lead. Ten minutes left to play, at least in this one. The fourth quarter coming your way right after this. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. Hey, Pack fans, Renown Health is hiring people like you. There are clinical, non-clinical, and entry-level roles. training and advancement opportunities, and terrific benefits and compensation. So, make your move. Apply today at renown.org slash careers. Dear Chairlift, let's try this my way. With available four-wheel drive that takes me straight to the top in style, and a wild side that's always ready for whatever's next. Keep it wild, Forerunner. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan. Visit your local Toyota dealer today. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Pavers by Porter is unmatched in quality design, installation, and maintenance of interlocking pavers. We build your vision for your home or commercial locations. Call for a free estimate. Pavers by Porter, creating your dreamscape since 2007. At The Joint Chiropractic, we believe that everyone should have access to high quality, affordable chiropractic care. You are never too young or too old to start taking care of your body. Walk-ins are welcome at any of our five Northern Nevada locations for just $29, seven days a week. Plus, as a monthly member, you can get treatment at any of our 900 nationwide locations. Stop living with pain. Try The Joint Chiropractic today and give your body the relief it needs. Defense to offense, the name of the game for the Wolfpack, and that was certainly the case in that third quarter, Ashley. Nevada 20, Fresno State 9 in that third period. And the most impressive part for me is that there's not one single Wolfpack player that's in double digits yet in this game. They've done it by committee so far, and that's when they're the most dangerous. Such a great point. Sullivan has 9, Roden has 8, Jacobs has 9, Ben Warnsing has 8. And I just, I can't say enough about Van Warnson quietly filled up the stat sheet and she just does her specific job so well. And I think her presence on the court was really the turning point for the Wolfpack so far. But now can they lock in and finish this fourth quarter and handle business? Big opportunity there by Kaylee Borden, but can't get the lefty layup to go. And now the Bulldogs will look to get right after scoring just nine points in that third quarter. The Pack turning up its tenacious defense. And it's paying dividends as Jacobs is back in the game. Nice backdoor cut from Santa Maria, but then she walked with it. Picked it up a little early, shuffled the feet, and Nevada forces another turnover. 15, I should say 12 turnovers, pardon me, for the Bulldogs. Nevada has six blocked shots in this game. Now the pack turns it right back over though. A minute gone in this fourth quarter. It's a travel on Jacobs. Ball to the Bulldogs. Nine huge minutes left to play in this ball game. And this one very much far from over. Far from over. Both teams with the way they Fresno State came out shooting the ball and the way Nevada has been able to kind of shoot the ball here in this second half. This game is far from over. Fresno State, worth noting, Three and two in conference play. The Bulldogs have won the fourth quarter in all of their conference games. Jacobs with a little head fake. 
But how about Ben Warrenson staying down low on the defense, and Fox's three is no good. The rebound bounced out of bounds. It'll stick with the Wolfpack as Lee was in the middle of a couple Fresno State players and wants to plead her case for a foul as she was hit on the head. Not going to work, though, and it stays with Fresno State 20 seconds. Strickland has it, gave up the dribble though as Jacobs cuts up with the left and swatted but fouled. Ben Warren single sender to the line. Where Jacobs will look for her first two points of the second half after having a dozen in the first half, still the leading scorer in this game. First shot good for Jacobs, who earlier this season was a Mountain West Player of the Week, carving her own path, if you will. <laughs> and now a Mountain West rival with her big sister, Claire. They'll meet again in February in the Central Valley, California. Ben Warnsing has it blocked by Detman. They're going to give it a jump ball call as uh, they were tied up for a second. Ball will stay with the Wolfpack, it appears. One point Nevada lead, eight minutes left to play. Roden was open for a while. Sullivan got it to her a little too late, though, and the shot's no good. A couple big opportunities missed early in this fourth. Right at the rim for the Wolfpack. Roden gets her paw on that one. And now Santa Maria has it, but suddenly 10 seconds left on this shot clock. Jacobs fakes the three. Great recovery defense by the pack. Fox is open, though. Big shot, no good. Jacobs there for the offensive board. But she stepped out of bounds. Ball back to Nevada. Coach White not thrilled, thinking there was a foul on that rebound attempt. Again, five teams entering this day tied for third in the Mountain West Conference. Ill-advised pass there by Van Warren, seeing as no one was open on the backdoor cut, and then all the way goes Brown. No good, though. And a crisis averted for the Wolfpack. Up one with the ball, seven minutes to play. Pretty big seven minutes for both of these teams, not just in this game, but going forward. Road into the rim, no good, but Lee is there. And the hustle plays and the second chance opportunities and the O boards has really got Nevada back in this game and kept them where they are right now. It hasn't been the first shot, it's been the follow up play. Santa Maria, though, fouled on the other end by Davis. She'll get a couple free throws. Givens will check back in for Nevada. Wittenberg back in for Fresno State. Harvey, uh, Harvey's going to come in for the shooter, it would appear. And again, these are two young teams trying to continue to come together and learn how to play well together. So big moments ahead in this ball game for Coach Levins and Coach White's teams. And I'll tell you this, any given night in the Mountain West Conference, you're going to get a team's best game. Imagine playing against a, a, you know, a, a UNLV playing against a Fresno State team that's just so good and right there on the edge, or playing against a Nevada team that's right there. As soon as they, they tip over that edge, they're going to be a problem. And yes. so every single night, these teams are getting battle-tested after battle-tested, and it, it's, it's making them better. That's such a great point. Both of these programs looking to continue an upward trajectory. Nevada, with nine wins this year, had just 10 last year. Davis on the mid-range, left it short. So the Bulldogs within one have a chance now to regain the lead. Hey. 
Harvey over to Wittenberg. That shot is a little wild, though. Ends up being a charge. As Givens is on the deck, the foul will go on Wittenberg. And that's a gutsy play by Lexi Givens with four fouls. She stands in there, sets her feet, takes the contact, and able to, to draw a charge. Nevada doing a bit of everything on the defensive end and certainly picking up the boards. How about 10 offensive rebounds in this game? Audrey, Audrey cross-court pass. Davis thought about a three, hesitated. Pack still with time. Sullivan puts it on the deck. And Wittenberg. Oh, boy, they called an offensive foul on Sullivan. It looked like Wittenberg had used two hands there, but they said that Sullivan kind of used her elbow to swipe and push off, and there was a little bit of it there. Maybe a play on, nonetheless. It's Bulldogs ball. Wittenberg gives up the dribble. Detman, the safety valve. As Wittenberg will fire a three. Rolls around and out. Not the best possession there for the Bulldogs. Roden fouled by Fox, although she has her palms up wondering what happened. Nevada will have it under its own basket, up by one. Feels like this game is really hanging in the balance right now. Back and forth, just waiting for one team or the other to kind of snatch like it who's and run do away. It. Yeah. Exactly. Sullivan, mid range, air mail, out of bounds. Back to the Bulldogs with another chance to regain the lead. Fresno State has had multiple opportunities. Santa Maria had a quick break. Freshman out of Ontario, Canada, but true freshman point guard. Jacobs fouled by Gibbons, and that'll be it for Lexi Gibbons. That is a fifth personal foul as Lexi finishes this game with four points, three assists, two steals, and a rebound. The big loss though, having her have to hit the bench for the rest of this matchup. Nevada, Fresno State, buckle up, 446 to play. Pack leads by one here in Reno. Hi, I'm Pedro Stojakovic. I'm Andre. He got his size from me, his jump shots from me, and his feet also from me. Wow, thanks. To take care of those feet, I got him the Good Feet 3-step art support system. Good Feet Arch Supports are designed to help relieve foot-related pain by putting the foot into a more ideal pain-relieving position. These feel great. Everybody needs good feet, even my son. Hey, is there a Wolfpack game this week? Yes! yes! Let's go, Wolfpack! <laughs> Hi, I'm Jack Stanko with Champion Chevrolet. We'll see you at this week's home game. Go Wolfpack! When injured in an accident, seek justice, seek integrity, seek Nevada's trusted personal injury attorneys. Go lightly in Nevada, 222-3333. Since 1874, the University of Nevada, Reno has been shaping young minds and bringing Nevada's best to the world. We're celebrating our 150th anniversary. From the silver boom to sustainability, the university has always been a leader in innovation and discovery. Here we live the Wolfpack way, where students strive to be their best, pursue their passions, and make a difference. Join us in celebrating 150 years of inspiring excellence. Go Pack! Step to 4.46 to play here in Reno, Nevada, Fresno State. Bit of a stalemate, if you will, in this fourth quarter. Fresno State has four points. Nevada has two points with over five minutes played. 
this contest anyone's for the taking at the moment. Mike Stephenson here alongside Ashley Jones. Hope you have enjoyed this battle wherever you are watching. It has been quite a battle. One, frankly, dominated by the Bulldogs early on. As Harvey shot no good. On the rebound is Jacobs. She'll go back up and in, and the Bulldogs have regained the lead. A lead that was once 15, Ashley, but Nevada has got itself right back in this ball game at one point up six. And things got a little sticky there for Nevada as Amanda Levins has to call a timeout with the ball still in the backcourt. 4.30 to play. Fresno State has certainly kind of turned up its energy after a lackluster third quarter, and so it's really, uh, again, anyone's game for the taking at this point. It's going to come down to, to the small things here at the end of this game. This fourth quarter scoring's at a premium. Like, they have... Both teams kind of struggling to score right now, so that's going to be big. But it's going to come down to the little things. That, that last play right there, Mia Jacobs gets the O board and puts it back for two, and they regain the lead on an offensive board. That's something that, you know, you can prevent. Box out, get a stop on the first shot, boom. But it's going to come down to the little things, who can execute, who can take care of the basketball, and finish the play with the rebound. That's such a good point because Nevada had done a good job of limiting them to one shot, which Coach Levins before the game said that was a huge emphasis. Limit them to one opportunity, but Jacobs re-gives them the lead. And now we are in for some dramatics here. Inside Lawler Event Center. Under 10 to shoot for Nevada. Santa Maria checking road in, but boy, a simultaneous call as even the even the referees, I kind of saw them smirk at each other. They both had the offensive foul at exactly the same time. Or we're going the other way, Nevada. Taking a step back on the offensive side. And I, yeah, I mean, that could have could have gone both ways. Roden kind of gives the arm. Defensive player kind of throws her hands up. Which way is it going to go? Tough call, but. A lot of times that's something that doesn't maybe get noticed or called. Right. The whistle tight in this one, though, and now Nevada has five team fouls, so Fresno State shooting free throws the rest of the way. Detman's going to fire a corner three, way too strong, right into the hands of Maxi. Maxi. Foul down low on, by Santa Maria. So that is a third team foul for the Bulldogs. They have just one more to give before Nevada is shooting free throws. This game could very well end up being decided at the line. Van Warrensing has it. Boy, Roden's got an open three, and she'll take it. Not going to go. I think she was almost surprised how open she was there. And so Nevada still with just two points here in this fourth quarter. Jacobs, that's a huge three, and it's left. Now pushing it is the pack. Maxi right to the rim. And credit Roden there with that assist. Nevada, back up one. Three minutes to play. Jacobs will drive and bet on Ben Wardsing and get the foul. To the free throw line goes Mia Jacobs. Talking with assistant coach Mandy Garver before the game, as soon as I said, tell me about Mia, she quite literally said, Oh my gosh, <laughs> she is a budding star in the Mountain West Conference. As the free throw rims out though, and she really just pointed to her versatility. She can do it in so many ways. She's got that experience from playing in Australia. She can handle the ball, she can shoot the ball, and now we're seeing in the second half, she could put it on the deck and get to the rim too and get herself to the line. And for her to only be a sophomore, too, we, can we talk about that? And a 6'2 sophomore, so she could easily be a post player in this conference, but she's going to shoot your lights out behind the three-point <laughs> line. So, I mean, just a, a defensive matchup nightmare for the other team. I mean, she can do it all, and, and only just a sophomore. Her ceiling is so incredibly high. Mia's up to 17 to lead all scores. This game tied 54 all. 
And now Claire Jacobs is back in. Whose moment will it be? The lefty floater. Good! <laughs> Jacobs sticks the tongue out in celebration. What a shot that was. Harvey with the ball. I don't want to get through this game without mentioning that Harvey, number 50, who just gave it up, is also a member of our National Guard and still has commitments for the National Guard while playing college ball. So many kudos to her. Jacobs with three to shoot. It's going to have to fade and fire. Rolls out. Detman on the putback. Hits the deck. No whistle. Nevada's got a number. Dump down to Lee. Waits and scores. Fresno State wants timeouts. A flurry of a run from the Wolfpack. 58-54, Nevada leads. We're going to stick around. 150 to play. And the Wolfpack, after a bit of a sleepy start to the fourth, has awoken here. Again, they've done it on the defensive end down there. They got lucky. Fresno State kind of tipped for an O-board, uh, and they were able to, to get that ball back and then come down here and execute on offense. I mean, just huge for them. They've created their offense all from the second quarter on has come from their defense and that's when they're so dangerous and so hard to guard because they can get out and score in transition. It really has just been the Wolfpack ratcheting things up on the defensive end and it's really changed the landscape of this game as now the landscape of the digital scoreboards here inside Lawler Event Center has been reset. I'm seeing 15 <laughs> minutes on the game clock right now. I am seeing a 0-0 scoreboard. And so this timeout is taking place. It might have to be extended a little bit as the operators uh, look to fix things. Because right now it looks like we're about to start a brand new game. It literally says 0-0. <laughs> the score is 58-54 Nevada. The pack has outscored Fresno State 30 to 14 in the paint, Ashley. And that's come from not just scoring around the rim on their first shot, but that's been a lot of offensive boards and getting second chance shots around the end. Those easy buckets has really has really done it for them today. They they haven't you know shot the lights out by any means, but they've been able to finish around the rim. 11 offensive rebounds. Pack winning the board battle 31 to 28. Should let you know that Good Feet sponsors our rebounding tracker. Come to the Good Feet store for a free, no obligation arch support fitting. 8 7 Nevada winning this fourth quarter by a single point. What, do the final, what does the final 150 have in store for us as Jacobs? A very noticeable limp as she looks to be guarding her younger sister, Bia. Can Bia take advantage of Big Sis and take it back to the backyard, if you will? This is what you love about college basketball. A minute 50 left, fourth quarter four-point game you're playing against your sister at the division one level and they're guarding each other too like it just doesn't <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that I mean that's what you absolutely love about college basketball and they are from a world away as well inside a gym in Reno Nevada Bulldogs got to get it across here and they do with Harvey now she'll go right through Lee and miss though Jacobs got the rebound but they're gonna call a foul on Mia Jacobs on that rebound attempt, Jacobs is saying, you need to look at that. But I don't think it's going to change the call. As they said, she came in too aggressively on that putback. If you're Harvey, and boy, that's not a bad call. If you're Harvey, though, you got to make that shot. Beautiful move coming down the court. Maybe just got a little too ahead of herself, a little too fast, and kind of rolled it right off the rim. That is a tough miss for Ja Harvey. So now the Bulldogs will have to do it on defense with about 90 seconds left in this game. 58-54, packed fans on the edge of their seats. 
Nevada looking for its first home win over a, div a Division I opponent since November. What a win it would be. Here's Sullivan. Right to the rim. Boy, Chata was there. Aggressive defense, nothing called, 70 seconds to play. Fox gives it up after one dribble. Harvey has it in the corner. She'll drive baseline. The cut. The ball is deflected. It's on the floor. Fresno State jumps on it, but a jump ball is called. It'll stay with the Bulldogs as we are under a minute to play. A chance for all of us to catch our breath. Jacobs checking back in. Your Fresno State, Coach Jamie White, you need a bucket right now. Absolutely, and if your Audrey Roden has four fouls, she cannot pick up that fifth foul. They need her on the court. She's a veteran guard for them to be able to handle the ball in late game situations. And the Bulldogs could not even get the inbounds in. Nevada turns it over, and the Wolfpack has it. Harvey swipes it away. Went behind Davis, and Harvey can't finish. And Roden grabs the rebound. What a huge defensive rebound by Audrey Roden as Harvey nearly changed the landscape of the final minute of this game. Instead, misses at the rim. And that's a big time rebound by Roden. Wow, what a moment. And this is a, sim a very similar play against their game against San Jose State. Harvey got a steal just like that, but was able to convert the layup and it, it, it changed the entire game. And that, that's what she does. She's so aggressive on defense and she just gets around. Tori Davis doesn't see her coming, pokes the ball away. Nevada got really lucky there with that one. You can hear a pin drop on that free throw attempt by Audrey Roden. It's up and good. Pack is up by five. And yes, disaster diverted <laughs> if you're the silver and blue. As Roden goes one for two. Jacobs rebound, timeout. Work to do for the Bulldogs. 43.3, we are hanging out inside Lawler Event Center. It's, boy, those were two prime opportunities for Fresno State. And I know Harvey, she's already done a lot of great things in her first season with the Bulldogs, but she's going to be kicking herself because those were two really great looks at the rim, and she couldn't get either of them. So tough. So tough sometimes. That's just how the ball rolls, and ah, it's, a, it's a tough one. Definitely, as a player, you're going to be thinking about that for a while. But those are the type of mistakes when you do make those, you don't make them again. That's going to sit with you, and I guarantee – She's going to remember that, and, and that's not going to, that won't get her again. Here's Santa Maria. Bulldogs got to go quick. Jacobs with big sis on her. Going to take her right to the rim and get fouled. Not going to go, though. So Claire Jacobs fouls little sis Mia Jacobs. And now the sophomore has two enormous free throws upcoming. Assuming they go in, Nevada will lead by three with 35.7, a 5.7 difference, game clock and shot clock. But that's assuming they both go in. If they do, the Bulldogs can elect to just play them straight up and see how it goes. One of those miss, we might have to see a Bulldog foul. When if she is able to knock down both of these free throws, she gets the first one here. Nevada has to be ready for the Fresno State press. They are going to be aggressive and up in their grill, and so they're going to have to take care of the ball here on this next possession. Two shots good. Coach Levins calls a 30-second timeout. And we'll draw something up, presumably, against what is expected to be some pressure defense from Fresno State. Absolutely. And she can let her team know right now, draw something up to get them open, inbound the ball, and really just need to execute right here. Be aware that there's probably going to be a trap coming. They're going to be flying people around the court. And so you just have to be smart, ball fake, and be strong with the ball. No lackadaisical passes, nothing like that. You just have to be extremely aggressive and smart with the basketball right now.
Up three with the ball, a good place to be if you are Nevada. As the Wolfpack looks to make it three wins in a row in the Mountain West Conference. Oh, and Roden finds a seam and scores! The Wolfpack is pumped as the play. It looked like that was how they drew it up. They pulled Fresno State away from the rim. But boy, you learned that in first grade hoops, right? You want to stay between your opposing player and the hoop. Bulldogs got caught in a bad spot right there. And sometimes when you drop a play like that as a coach, it kind of throws off the defense. Like, what are they doing right there? And a lot of times, Coach Levins will run that little diversion. She'll sometimes have two players on the complete other end of the court, and then you have two here, and it's like, okay, go, get open. And then Nevada just gets lucky right there and, and gets an easy basket. But now they have to defend without fouling and guard the three-point line. They, wanna, they don't want to let Fresno State get off an open three or a foul around the basket. Here we go. Santa Maria has it. She'll get the screen from Jacobs and just try to go right to the rim. Not going to finish, though. Davis with the defense, the rebound, and then fouled by Santa Maria. And boy, that might just do it as Davis has a chance to potentially put this one on ice at the free throw line. And again, Harvey's going to be kicking herself because she was the one guarding Roden on that out-of-bounds play. First free throw rims out. No more timeouts for the Bulldogs. They'll have to go the length of the floor. Second one rolls out. Jacobs on the rebound. Bulldogs got to go quick. Under 25 seconds to play. Santa Maria's shot off. Rebound. Jada. Here's Jacobs. She's just going to have to shoot it. The three. Money. 13.7 to play. It's a two-point game. What a big shot by Mia Jacobs. Fresno State not quite done. And so, sometimes as a shooter, even with a hand in your face, <laughs> like it, it, if you're feeling it, the clock is running down, and you got to get a shot up, that ball's going to go up, even sometimes with a little more confidence than when you're wide open. 22 points for Mia Jacobs, six rebounds, five of eight from downtown. The three ball has kept Fresno State in this ball game. All right, so if you're Nevada here, advance the ball, but it's just get it in and get it into one of your better free throw shooters if possible. And we say get it in, but sometimes that's like a little bit more difficult Much than what you would we exactly. And so that is going to be so huge to get the basketball in bounds. And then when you get it in bounds, be strong. You know the defense is going to foul. You know they're going to come flying at you, even try to get a jump ball. And so they have to get it in and be strong. That's all, I, all you got to do right now is get the basketball in bounds, be strong with the ball, and knock down your free throws. A reminder, Fresno State has no timeouts. There's a bit of a discussion going on between Coach White and one of the officials at the scorer's table. Similar setup for Nevada here on the out-of-bounds play. We'll see who Nevada looks to get it into. It's Davis, and she'll be fouled immediately by Santa Maria. So we just saw Tori Davis actually miss two free throws. Hard to get that out of your head immediately, but another two big opportunities here. And of course, if one goes, Fresno State still has a shot. A very good shot at that because we know they can knock down the three ball. Ten three-pointers made in this ball game. Davis <laughs> looks to the skies after the first one swishes through. Big chance here to make it a two-possession game. Rattles 
in. I say two possession, just don't foul a three-point shooter if you're Nevada. Santa Maria has it, gonna have to do something with it. Jacobs, she'll step back and fire a three. Got it, 2.3. Might not be enough though as Roden has it, gives it up, Sullivan, and the clock expires. A frantic finish, but Nevada gets it done. 63-62, the Wolfpack beats the Bulldogs and makes it three in a row in the Mountain West Conference. The Pack is four and two overall. It now has a 10th win, matching last year's total for the entire season. This just feels like a huge moment for Amanda Levin's team. Absolutely. I mean, it, there's so much you could say right now in this moment, but I mean, a win is a win. They come up huge. They're able to execute, I would say, three out of the four quarters, which is big for them. Um, and just finishing the game, like in those tough, those are tough situations to be in. In late, say, late situation games, being able to execute, defend, knock down free throws. Like, it, you can see the pieces are falling together for this Nevada team. I'll tell you what. That one point win makes our Toyota play of the game look even more significant. Up three, Nevada was inbounding in front of its own bench, and the Wolfpack draws something up and runs it to perfection as Audrey Roden slips through. What a play that was. Absolutely, momentum shifted right there, 35 seconds. She's able to find a way to get open and, and knock it. Yeah, exactly, huge play for them. Um, Really, really impressive win for the Wolfpack. That is our Toyota play of the game. Visit your Northern Nevada Toyota dealer today. Toyota, let's go places. We'll wrap things up as the Wolfpack gets ready to celebrate this one together with our player of the game. It is brought to you by Pavers by Porter, Northern Nevada's premier hard skate contractor since 2007. Give it up for Kaylin Van Warrising. Eight points, 10 rebounds, a couple of assists, a couple of blocked shots. Without her, almost 20 minutes off the bench, Nevada does not win this game. Absolutely not. I go back to it probably for the third time on this call, the four minute mark in that second quarter. She came in the game and made a complete difference and she did it in ways where that you don't always see on the stat sheet, right? Like she's chasing after loose balls. She's getting offensive rebounds. She's making the defensive plays and blocks. Like just all the little things made a huge difference today. Super, super impressed with her effort. What an incredible team effort from the Wolfpack, which got 11 from Audrey Roden. It got 11 from Claire Jacobs. It got nine from Izzy Sullivan. It got those eight points and 10 rebounds from Van Warren seeing eight points from Kennedy Lee. Boy, the stat sheet is filled, and it's a bunch of good stats if you are Amanda Levin's team. Nevada, four and two in the Mountain West, sending Fresno State back to the Valley with a loss. These two will meet again February 21st in the Central Valley. As for what is next for Nevada, they'll stick around at home and play a little morning contest Tuesday with Colorado State in town. It's 11 a.m. It's an 11 a.m. tip for Nevada. Fresno State returns to California, but will then hit the road for a January 24th game at New Mexico. That is what is next for the Bulldogs as we continue Mountain West play. For Ashley Jones, I'm Mike Stephenson. Any final thoughts on this one as we all try to catch our breath? <laughs> a nail biter, a great nail biter basketball game for a Saturday. These, these fans in town got to come out and see this Wolfpack team play. They're fun to watch and they're putting their pieces together at the right time. It is an exciting brand of basketball. Nevada beats Fresno State by one, a thriller on Nevada Sportsnet. We're going to have the men's game for the Wolfpack later on, 4.30 the tip at Wyoming, but in the meantime, for Ashley Jones, I'm Mike Stephenson. Shout out to our crew up in the control room and here on the cameras. We'll see you back here soon on Nevada Sportsnet and the Mountain West Network. In Nevada, anything that goes into the storm drain goes directly to our local waterways, which can pollute Nevada's lakes and rivers. Here's some waterway wisdom so you can help do your part. Scoop your dog's poop, bag it and discard it. Wash your car at a car wash or on grass or gravel. And don't litter. Secure trash in bins. Use waterway wisdom. And remember, only rain should go into the storm drain.
Join us in working together to preserve our water resources for future generations of Nevadans. Welcome to United Nissan Reno, where we're all about getting it right. With a selection of over 300 new and used vehicles, we have something that's just right for you. We have the right people, approachable, informed, and ready to help, without the pressure. And we have the right deals. 0% for 60 months, no payments for 90 days, and vehicles like the new Frontier for zero down or $3.99 a month. Plus, come test drive any of our vehicles and receive a $50 Amazon gift card. United Nissan Reno. Right cars, right people, right deals. Shop online at unitednissanreno.com. My dad.